Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Key Lenny, and welcome back to another video. On today's video, I am going to be creating this eye makeup a look that came out bum, bum AF. Can you can you see it? Can you can you can you see it? Bum, bum. If you guys are interested in seeing what I used and how I created this eye makeup look, make sure that you guys keep on watching. We're gonna go straight ahead into the video because we don't have time to waste. Stop talking, girl. T take us to the video already. Okay, so the first thing that I am actually gonna do is apply some concealer. You guys know how much I love my Juvia's Place concealer for um, my eyes as a, like a primer. I just love it, it just, you know, it works really, really well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that on both eyes. Is that rain? Great, it just started raining. Amazing. All right, now that we have that concealer there set, I am going to use the Makeup Revolution uh, Fl Forever Flawless Birds of Paradise palette. This palette is just so stunning. When I saw it, I knew like I had to have it. It's like a rainbow of colors. This is their number one eyeshadow palette, like number one selling eyeshadow palette. And by the looks of it, I can see why, because she is absolutely beautiful. We have some mattes, we have some shimmers, we have some glitters. I'm very, very excited. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm feeling a little bit of like the matte I wanna do. I wanna use as many colors as possible. Thinking like really, really colorful, but we'll see where the wind and the world and the eyeshadow palette takes me. But yeah, I'm very, very excited and kind of like inspired to use this. Oh, my nails, what the hell? But I am really, really excited and inspired to use this palette, so let's go, let's, let's go. So I'm going to take this yellow shade right here, um, Canary. Canary? Canary. Canary? And I'm gonna apply it under the brow bone, on the inner part of the brow bone. Right here. I am going to move on to the shade Cardinal right here, this orangey shade so pretty it's so gorgeous Oops. and i'm pretty much just going to be doing the same thing applying it under my brow bone i'm going to try to create kind of like a assortment of colors i guess down there <laughs> we'll see how it goes I'm actually gonna take the shade Toucan Play, which is more of like a tamarind shade, and I'm going to take it on a little, well not a little, on like a blending brush, which is the other side of this brush that I'm actually using. And I'm going to try to mix in those shades right here in the middle, just so, like in between the yellow and the orange, just so that they kind of look more blended and more like, they're coming out of each other. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, so now I'm gonna take the pink shade right over here. This is uh, Vacay. Vacay! What I'm hoping for to do after this quarantine. Same thing, you guys, under my brow bone, continuing the shades. I'm looking so crazy right now. I don't know if this is gonna come out like the way that I'm envisioning it, but we will see, I guess. We shall see. The shades are mad pigmented though, and there has been zero fallout, none. So that's really, really nice. And I've used what, like four shades already? So you guys see that I am staying super high, like under the brow bone, because over here we're gonna do a cut crease situation later, and I wanna try to have it as clean as possible. Uh, so yeah, just try to stay like super, super high as much as you can, which is why I'm kinda using like a flat brush 
and just kind of like applying the product um but yeah i'm looking so crazy right now so so crazy i know i'm gonna move on to the shade tail feathers which is this purple light lilac moment a little bit and just continue what we've been doing just kind of um applying it under my brow bone and mixing it with the pinkish shade that we applied there yo these shades are so pigmented i really really like this palette so finally things are starting to open up here in florida on monday tomorrow and i'm hella excited not that i'm gonna be going out and being crazy but at least like i know things are kind of coming back a little bit and that makes me really really excited so yeah i'm excited okay so now i'm actually going to take the makeup revolution conceal and hydrate uh concealer i already said that and i'm going to cut my crease this is in the shade c7 so it's a really light shade i actually used it under my eyes today for a little highlight but i'm gonna be using this shade and cutting my crease so i'm going to start like really low and then kind of like go up i'll show you guys Okay, so with the concealer in this eye, I don't want to move on to the other one until I apply this shade because I'm scared that the concealer is going to move and I'm not used to this concealer, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next shade. I'm going to take this wide shade right here called uh, Cockatoo. Cockatoo? Cockatoo? You yeah, whatever. The white shade right over here and I'm going to apply it on top of the concealer. Alrighty, <laughs> look at me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye, cut the crease and put the white on top and I'll be back. Okay, and here we are. I don't know where I am going with this look, honestly. I am gonna go back with the shade Tail Feathers, which is the last shade pretty much that we used on the color over here. And I am going to pretty much apply it on the outer corner of the white. Maybe going a little bit over the white. Kind of connecting the shade on the brow bone with the shade that I am applying on the lower lid. Doing the same thing on this eye. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've only used literally one brush. This side of the brush, this is from Sigma. I think I got this on an eyeshadow palette. Oh, the Corderosa palette. One brush, and I kept cleaning it with the Veramona. What is this called? This is, ooh, this is called, God damn it. This is called the Color Switch Mini. I just kept cleaning it here and just reusing the, the brush. Okay, now for the kind of like the final shade for these outer corners, I'm going to take the shade Adventure right here, which is a deep purple. And I'm going to, I'll show you guys, let me just clean this brush real quick. So applying it on the outer corner and dragging it upwards. Dragging it upwards. I feel like I need this to be darker putting a little bit more purple like upwards like even on top of my brows with the lilac shade that we used before i'm mixing it with island and a little bit of tail feathers and i am going to do the same thing up here on top of the second to last shade that we used and I'm just gonna keep putting a little bit of those shades like on top of my brow bone. I just want it to look like faded, kinda into my hairline. I really think I wanna dip in this purple shade a little bit more. So I might have to go with another palette just to make it a little bit darker. 
I am actually going to dip into this palette. This is the Profusions palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. It's like a dark blue. It's called Enigma. And I'm going to kind of feather out that shade on the outside a little bit. I feel like that looks so much better now. So I went ahead and I applied some lashes off of camera. These are the Lily lashes in the style Mykonos, I believe. Uh, I think I've used these lashes so many times already, but I really like them. They're so pretty. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the shade Macaw which is this blue shade right over here and I am going to apply it on my lower lash I am going to remove that powder first you should do that Kilani, remove the powder first I am going to take this eyeliner from LA Girl this is their Shockwave Neon Eyeliners and this is in the shade Electric is this electric blue eyeliner and I'm going to apply it on my waterline are you kidding me it's raining again so I am actually gonna go a little bit lower than my waterline because I want to mix this color on my lower lash because I want more like a blue a true blue pretty much so I'm going to put it under and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to blend that out. Okay, so I actually think that we came together. I am loving this look. Like I've never done anything like this. This is so out of my comfort zone, but I am loving it. It looks so good. I cannot wait to take my pictures. You guys better come to my Instagram. Period period so i have already ooh, did i show you guys my nails i got some press on nails and they're like they're my long stripper nails and i am living <laughs> okay now but seriously you guys i have already lip lined my lips so i'm gonna actually go ahead these are from uh, makeup revolution as well i want to keep it with the theme of the makeup revolution i'm going to use their matte list matte lipstick in the shade uh, Darling and then the lip gloss in the shade Sheer Hustle. I'm trying to keep the lips like nude because the eyes are already like bam. So you guys, but we are done with this makeup. I am obsessed. Too bad it's like 1.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, it's really late. So I'm gonna take it off and go to bed. But oh my God, I am obsessed with this lip combo. It is so nice, so nude, so me, I love it. It is so out of my comfort zone. I absolutely love how this look came out. I am obsessed with this palette. It is so nice. There was no fallout. The colors are pigmented af i mean this palette retails for 15 dollars so she is super affordable and she has let's say one two three four five six seven three rows 21 colors so that's a lot of shades for 15 dollars and you have some shimmers you have some glitters you have mostly mattes they are absolutely colorful if you need like a colorful palette in your life, I would definitely recommend this one. It's just so beautiful. You guys can find it at Ulta. You guys can buy it obviously at the Makeup Revolution um, website. I'm not sure, do they have Makeup Revolution stores? I don't know, but you know, I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. I'm not sure if you can find it in Target. I don't know, let me look online. I don't know, but I know definitely you can buy it at Ulta because that's where I bought it. By the way, I bought this palette with my own money. And the lipsticks and the lip gloss as well like everything pretty much that i used i bought it with my own money um these were not sent to me so this is like my honest honest opinion on the palette i absolutely love it it's so so good so beautiful so pigmented there was no follow fall out not that i actually do care because you know that's why i wear the powder under it just for any fallout but i mean that is a plus a plus what is wrong with me that is a plus if you know you don't like fallout i 
I'm obsessed. Look at this look. Look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> But I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, you guys know the deal. Make sure that you guys like this video, subscribe down below, and hit that bell notification on so that you guys are notified whenever I upload a video. My schedules are Wednesdays and Sundays, but you know sometimes we go through a little, a little hiccup. So I always keeping you guys updated on my Instagram, so you guys should come and Follow me over there. I'm gonna put a bomb ass picture of this look over there for sure with all the details and everything that I used on my face. So if you guys wanna check that out, make sure to come and join the familia on my Instagram. My name is Kelly K, same as here. Same, shame. But thank you guys so much for tuning in on today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. And that's on period, sis. I kill this look. I killed it. I don't care. I, I killed it. I, I killed it.